gosh, it's beautiful out. And now I have to go and get myself all the supplies for my colonoscopy. Store today and got all the stuff. Got, I'm supposed to take two tablespoons of this tonight. Ugh. And then I'm gonna mix Miralax with Gatorade tomorrow. They didn't have the right size, but I was supposed to get a container of this that was twice as much, so I got two of the small ones. And then I also have to take a few of these. <sighs> I am dreading it. Be cool, just move with the groove. No funk in here to be way too sweet. Yeah. Let's yeah. just do what we came to do. Just vibe. Yeah, I guess I drink Gatorade <laughs> all day. I don't get to eat any food today. So my husband is going to come home and chaperone the pooping later today. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Boy, that's a good reason to take off early. <laughs> You're going to tell people that's why. <laughs> Tell everybody, I have to go home because my wife's going to be pooping. <laughs> oh no. I don't think they have a code for that on your time card. Uh, <laughs> Millie, I'm going to be pooping later. Do you want to go outside before I leave? Speaking of pooping, I'm about to go away for a little while. Why don't you go outside? Come on, girl. Girl. Yeah, be cool, be cool, just move with the groove. He's back. Let the pooping begin. <laughs> I'm still waiting. Does this fall under the category of too much information? I just asked Facebook, why am I not pooping? I think the answer is yes. <laughs> you think that's too much information? I guess it is. <laughs> I like it. Okay. It's happening. <laughs> it's early in the morning. It's colonoscopy day. Come on, Millie. Come on. So, Jim, hmm? how did my colonoscopy go? It went great. <laughs> I didn't feel a thing. You didn't feel a thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like nothing. I did not need anesthesia. It wasn't like nothing. I, I take that back. It was like having terrible diarrhea and not have, being near a bathroom and having to hold it in <laughs> for about a half an hour. And then it was over. I don't think it's worth being sedated for. I, I know that some people have more, more pain and you know, for those people I can totally understand. But if, if you're like me and you don't really want to put more drugs in your system, and you don't mind a little bit of nerves, a little bit of discomfort, I highly recommend you can do your colonoscopy without sedation. Yes, you can. Spoken by a man who's done his colonoscopies with sedation every time. I didn't even know that people did them. Well, now you know it's an option. Is it something you would consider? Like you there lost an entire day instead of a half an hour. But it's not like that anymore. I know. That's what you say, but you're the one who's got the drug in your system. I wonder if the people who are around you feel the same. They can see it's fully you and fully you're fully present. And you lose memory too. You lose memory of this the time. Of the time. I know that anyone, I know, I can feel the, the groundswell of reaction. Why would you want to remember your colonoscopy? It was fun. Colonoscopies are fun. Let's go do it again. <laughs> Let's do it again. I can't wait. And now, at quarter of 10 in the morning, we're home. 
about to sit down to a fabulous omelette breakfast with toast and stuff. <laughs> oh, we have orange juice. And uh, colonoscopy is done. We have a clean colon. And now we can live happily ever after. Right, Millie? Right. A toast to a healthy colon. Healthy colons. But I thought I would just share with you one of my routines. And I don't do it all the time, but I did it this morning. I'll watch something on Netflix. I'll have the computer. Well, I had it facing over here in the kitchen, and I just go through the refrigerator and throw out anything bad and chop up the stems of that's some chard and onions and kale stems and um, basically chop up vegetables. If I don't feel like actually cooking, which I kind of didn't really, um, I'll just get everything ready. So check out my refrigerator. I've got all the that's a cucumber salad. I've got some broccoli chopped up there, some cabbage and carrots, and some kale. Yes, it's good to have a nice a refrigerator stocked with deliciousness. So the next thing I'll probably do is make a salad dressing. I'm soaking some black beans and some chickpeas. I tend to make chickpeas like once a week and then um, I use a, at least half of them for hummus. Hi Michelle, I just wanted to let you know that I just got out of my every six months appointment with my breast surgeon. Um, and this is the every other six months where I don't have a mammogram. but. I still see her anyway, so she can do an exam. And I thought I'd let you know that I'm, I'm probably gonna still be around for the next six months or so, until my next mammogram. Things look okay. I love you. Bye. I like to multitask. I'm gonna work on my garden while I listen to Spanish lessons. So I got a lot of work to do here. You can't even see the beds over there. Anyway. Before and after, you gotta start somewhere, right? Yeah, be cool, be cool, just move with the group. No funk in here, the beat way too slow. Yeah, let's just do what we can do, just vibe with it. Vibe with it, vibe with it, be cool, be cool, just move with the group. Let's go. I just need to go in the house for a second. Let me go by. Let me go by. No. Y'all can hear the beat way too slow. Uh -huh. Let's just do what we can do. Y'all, 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 y'all. Oh, traffic jam. It's the danger of our little house. Why did I come in? Oh yeah, I want my sweatshirt. Okay, back to work. We're on our way to, well, we're in Vermont. We're on our way to Burlington. Where this man will be running a marathon in a couple days. Yay, finally. Finally. He's been training for a long time. Nooski, Vermont. And we're about to dig into our late, late takeout Chinese dinner. Peking house. Peking house. It looks really good, actually. It does. Yeah. We got the last room in the inn. Two beds instead of one. My husband has just gone running outdoors while I went in the gym here. And this is what happened in the gym. The gym has a mirror. So you're on the treadmill and you can see yourself in profile. And I got a good look at, at the extra pounds that I'm carrying right now. And, and the truth is, I have not wanted to talk about this particular issue because I think as women and some men, we're a little overly obsessed, like, the, like to the point of anguish over a few pounds. like you know, somehow we hooked the idea of looking a certain way in with the idea of whether or not we're lovable and, and it's really, they, they have no business being together um, in our minds, but that's the way it is. So I don't want to reinforce that for anyone and I'm not trying to reinforce it for myself. But what it made me notice is that I actually, another thing I haven't been talking to you about is I've been really discouraged lately physically. I've not, I've been feeling stiff and just not much stamina and I've been thinking it's the tamoxifen and there's nothing I can do and I'm just gonna 
feel old, like an old lady, you know, way too soon, and, and it's very, very depressing. And um, this morning I realized, and then, and a lot of people do gain weight on tamoxifen, and they do feel that way, and it's very, very good chance that that's to the cause, but, but I realized just like any other kind of adversity in life, you have a choice about how you um, engage with it. And I love what David Allen says. He's a, a an organization guru guy. He says, whatever has your attention needs your intention engaged. So my intention right now is to treat this like a slight incline on the treadmill. Like it's going to be a little harder, but it doesn't mean that I should get off. What do you I think, agree. husband? I agree. Yeah. Yeah, okay. should enjoy being physical. And show them the the um the the fortune cookie I got last night, oh, or just tell me what it says. This is the one that was for me. Read it. Just read it. Good health will be yours for a long time. Yeah. I can't really see it. What does yours say? Do you remember? Or that was from this morning? Or we had they gave us three. Your winsome smile will be your sure protection. <laughs> uh, so I got that going for me, too. <laughs> All right. So here's, here's what I'm looking at. A few extra pounds. It's really not that big of a deal. And it's not, the, it's not, the, it's not the, the, the thing that I'm working on. I'm not working on the extra pounds. I'm working on the attitude and the discouragement that allowed me to... F I don't feel that great. I feel like my clothes are tight. And... It feels heavy, and it's not about what I look like. I think I look fine. I'm not. I'm not upset about that. But the point is, uh, I need to be a better coach, a stronger coach for myself rather than uh, a commiserator. Getting ready for your marathon. This is what everybody will be yelling. Jim, Jim, yeah, Jim.